where a Spanish fishing boat sank 280 miles off the coast of Newfoundland this morning. Tanta opacidad en las causas de ese naufragio, eso no es normal. They found three survivors in a lifeboat. La peor tragedia de los últimos 40 años. Mi hijo no va a conocer ni la voz de su padre, ni la cara de su padre, nada. 21 men that died in, in the middle of the ocean. Hemos declarado mutuo nacional. On the 15th of February, a Spanish fishing boat with 24 people on board sank during a stormy night in the freezing waters of the North Atlantic. All the fishermen lived along the coast of Galicia in northern Spain. Only three of them survived. Among them, the captain, Juan Padin. The last one to abandon the boat has to be the captain, the responsible of the tripulation. We know that there are people who are inside, so he was not the last one. Kevin's father, Fernando, was 54. His body has not been recovered. That is also the case of Edmundo Kutu, whose disappearance leaves his wife, Francisca, alone to raise their three daughters. The day I saw the news, called his family, telling his family that he is okay. What about the rest? That the rest are not important? Somebody's father, somebody's brother, Somebody uncle, somebody husband. We just lost them. Captain Juan Padin has explained that the engine came to a sudden stop, leaving the boat exposed to the winds and the waves, causing the vessel to sink. The two other survivors are the captain's nephew, Eduardo Real, and a Ghanaian fisherman, Samuel Cuesi. What Samuel says is that um, the engine uh, didn't fail. Juan Enrique Padin, the captain, didn't want to, to cut the fishing net and then the water began to, to eat the vessel and that's when the engine stopped, not before. Another troubling detail is that of the three survivors and the nine bodies that could be recovered, only Captain Padin and his nephew were wearing a survival suit. According to the captain, he asked all the, the crew to wear the, the special the suit to survive in, in the ocean and to leave the, to leave the vessel. He says that he ordered the, that two things. But um, Samuel, uh, he says that uh, the captain didn't do that. Five months after the tragedy, no charges have yet been brought, but both Captain Padin and the company owning the boat are being investigated for homicides by negligence. The captain and his lawyers have declined BBC's request to comment. A lot of questions remain, and the relatives of those who died believe more could be done to get to the truth. Queremos que se investigue y que se aclare las causas del fallecimiento de estas 21 personas. No sabemos dónde va a ser el juicio, si si lo va a llevar la audiencia nacional, si lo mandan a a Marí. No sabemos nada. I would really like to know what happened because I don't like them to lie to us. Yo es que no necesito para poder cerrar el círculo ya, porque esto es dolorosísimo. Que aparezca la verdad y que bajen al bar al 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 mar, que vean al al bar y vean muchas pruebas se pueden conseguir ahí. Peleando por la por la verdad. Y aún no tuve ni dos o tres días seguidos para estar tranquilo relativamente y, y, y ser consciente de, de que mi padre no, no va a volver. <risa>